today's video, we're going to be rewinding time and going back to one of my favorite things, one of y'all's favorite things. We're gonna be going back to movie commentary, but not just a movie commentary, a movie commentary on a Wattpad adaptation movie. Oh boy, have I been waiting for one of these. I have been waiting patiently for another one to get my hands on. Like, bring back Noah Centineo. Like, when Noah Centineo was thriving, I thrived with him. Bring him back. The way I found this movie was obviously through TikTok. I saw the actors promoting it and I was very confused as to what it was, but I saw that little tag that was like Wattpad Productions that like they tagged their movies on and I was like, oh yes. Oh, absolutely. No, like this is actually something that I need to watch right now. And it's been a while since I've done not only a commentary, but a commentary on a classic teen cliche romance comedy. And I was intrigued. And what intrigued me even more is that you can barely find this on any platform. It's not on Netflix. It's not on Amazon Prime. It's not on HBO. It's not on any of the traditional like streaming services. For a second, I thought it was a Tubi movie, but I bought it. So I'm gonna watch the movie Boot Camp so you don't have to. Do I know any of the actors names? No. Do I know the author of the Wattpad original? No. Do I know the director? No. This might be the best movie we've ever watched. I haven't had this feeling in such a long time, like not only not knowing what movie I'm gonna watch, but also Wattpad Webtoon Studios Presents ignite something within my soul that I can't quite explain. Like bring back traditional media. Arabelle. I told you not to trespass here. It's Friday, happy Friday. That's, that is Oppression Olympics from none other than Ginny and Georgia. That is Hunterfer. Oh, it's Friday, happy Friday. Friday, happy Friday. Good morning, Ginny. Welcome to Friday. And I wasn't paying attention, so I literally don't know what happened. Get your ass out of bed or you missed a big night. That's typical larging behavior. That's literally how I think the first movie started. That's okay, that's okay. Taking notes from the classics, I love it. I love it, taking notes from the classics. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rag on you for taking a note out of one of the best movies ever. Shouldn't you be at prom? That's kind of why I'm here. Did I like stumble on in like to the middle of the movie? This seems like a little bit more of like exposition needed before she's getting invited to like her dream crush that she's been in love with since the fifth grade. I can't imagine how Willow would feel about that. Oh, we, we broke up for real this time. So he broke up with someone and now he's taking her as like a second choice. Okay, but what if she sees us together? She kept the two of you apart for four years and now he wants you. Who just has like, no, I'm not even gonna like get into that. No, I am gonna get into that. Who just has a bunch of prom dresses ready to go? Unless you lived through COVID because I still have prom dresses from the forgotten COVID prom that never happened that got canceled because of COVID. So he's just waiting there. And also, by the way, is this the morning of like the prom day? Because she was asleep and then she woke up or was she taking a midday nap? Because it looks like the beginning of the day and he was ready. This also doesn't look like someone who was in love with him since the fifth grade, has been pining after him for like five years. She looks very indifferent to the whole situation. Looks like she doesn't like it. Also, oh my God, guys, uh, guys, why does everyone hate their life already? Like it's the beginning of the movie. Everyone looks miserable. What is going on? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> right, right. No, that's amazing. No, that's actually so amazing. I love that. I do feel like I jumped into the middle of the movie where there's like all this tension set up that I don't quite understand. I'm very, very highly, like insanely confused. Are those Spanx? 
Um. I. Okay, first of all, there's so much going on in this movie that I'm, like, literally thrown into without any, like, setup. I just know that as Jenny and Georgia guy. The idea that she looks at him and she's like, are those Spanx? As if, like, I'm sorry. I, would we have rather seen full hole at the prom? Like, I, if someone had their whole hole out, I would have been like, oh my god, is that hole? But if someone was wearing Spanx, I'd just be like, oh, like... It, uh, thank God you had Spanx on. Like, what are we talking about? As if the, like, other option was better. Would it have been better if she was naked or better if they were her, like, her drawers, her panties? I personally, I thank God for Spanx every single day that I don't have to be seen to so many people's holes because it honestly saves everybody from flashing people a lot of the times. Running it back to this, running it back to the story. Why did this guy, whatever his name is, Jonah, take her to the prom if they had just broken up prior? If he knew that they were shooing for prom queen and queen, and like, why would he kiss them in front of everyone? I'm like missing so much like lore and backstory on his character specifically, like. No, like, me and my GF just broke up. Like, I really want to take you. Like, you're the only person I want to go to prom with. Show up to prom, dance. It looks like the lamest prom ever. Oh, I won prom queen. Oh my God, I had no idea. I'm supposed to understand what's going on. I'm, I'm... I'm seven minutes in and I'm supposed to understand what's going on. I get it that she has a crush on him. I get why she was upset by it. I don't know the motives of Hunter from Ginny and Georgia. I don't know his motives. It feels very confusing. I'm helping out with wedding services. So you'll be, be here all summer. I'm going to get you fired, actually. I'm actually going to get you fired is what I plan to do next. Because what the fuck? Realistic as that fantasy foreplay that you look around with you everywhere. Get your fucking hands off my book. Mm. Mocha. At that point, dump it on me. At that point, you want to fight me. At that point, I'm going to break your neck. At that, if you stick your dirty fucking fingers in my drink, in my mocha. Oh, it was already enough that she touched her book. Like, don't touch my property. Sticking your dirty finger in my mocha, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Oh my God, so this is why she wants to go to boot camp. She wants to fucking fight her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sir, got you there. That just lingered so long. Like, whatever that purpose of the shot was to like, con like, translate to us that she got dropped off by her dad like it literally looked it lingered so long we're using pens and paper no ticky tacky no nothing no 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 oh absolutely not i'd be like i'm staying oh i'm actually so sad you thought i i thought you said you were going to europe i thought you said you were going to europe oh my god i'm gonna stick my fingers in your white mocha now like it's been run by holier than now fitness freaks sticking the roid rage out on teenagers probably they peaked in high school oof don't let them hear you say that you're 35 years old <laughs> you're actually 35 years old you need to start paying your taxes what are you doing here and i think that guy's also from riverdale who said i want to be here mom oh thanks honey Lord drop her mom runs the camp your trainers the trainers don't look that much more fit than the attendees other than like that man that was obviously ripped but no one else does uh, hello whitney i'm axel of course his name is axel yeah the holier than thou fitness freak that's about to have so much fun with you I would kill myself in like such a unique way that they like wouldn't even want to report on it. Like I would die. This movie, like for once, I like have like I <laughs> bring back movie commentaries because I have not been this speechless in so long. Like I love it. I 
actually do love it. Like, I actually do quite love it. His name is Axel, of course. Of course, main leads in any like Wattpad or fan fiction story, or even, I'll just say that, even like romance movies in general, like nowadays, they can never just have like a normal name. It's always like, Axel or like Reese or or Ryle or 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 like Atlas like the names these days are really weird and they, I think they need to be studied because it's like they have to have some sort of really unique name that like you know that a teenager picked because they thought it sounded like the coolest or like most masculine when Axel is crazy. Axel is crazy. Of course it's, it's just, how could I not think that his name would be anything else? How could I think it was gonna be something like, like Greg or something? Like I, I, I of course it was gonna be Axel. Of course his name is Ax. And nothing would make me like feel shittier than like a conventionally attractive man around my age telling me to run. Trying. You're whining. <laughs> How did she just fall down? How did she just fall down? Like, nope, nothing happened. Hey, uh, uh, you know your sister released some 20 minutes ago? I guess my roid rage got the better of me. That's like abuse. <laughs> it's like literal abuse. Oh yeah, like we were actually supposed to release them 20 minutes ago. No, I just stay. I, I made her stay. What's wrong with you? He oh, ooh, this is scary. Ooh. <laughs> but isn't the idea that they're all unathletic, that's why they're at the camp? So like there shouldn't be that much judgment around them like not being athletic because they're all at this like summer camp solely for like gaining more athletic abilities. You're up first. Did I stutter, Carmichael? He's mean. He's like not like he's literally like so mean for no reason. I hope she gets like hurt and he like cares about it. <laughs> I'm like stupid. <laughs> I'm like actually stupid <laughs> that I'm like, I hope like the brooding guy like starts caring about her if she like gets hurt. Like, I hope that happens. But like you do, like everybody does wish that happens. Like I, oh my God. It's very far. You've been holding out on me. What do you mean? She missed. What do you mean? What do you mean you've been holding out on me? She missed. She li she's literally a loser. Like, that is not the equivalent to like Mulan, like doing the like impossible task that no one could defeat. Like she was the first one up and she failed. It's not impressive. It's almost insulting because it's almost insinuating that like she's so bad at everything else that her doing just the first portion of it is like really impressive to everyone. Like I thought that was gonna be like, oh, she missed how embarrassing again. Honestly, take the harness off. Let's see her try to do the task without the harness. Maybe I'm being too hard on her. Maybe I'm the meanie of the whole entire movie, but like I would have assumed that that wouldn't have impressed him. Cause it didn't impress me. Oh my God. You're reading Blackwood? <laughs> I just got to the tortured lands. No, no, no. Okay, don't you dare. I'm, I'm savoring it. You're... <laughs> I love this. I love this. I paused it, but I love it. Like, I'm like giggling, but I'm like <laughs> loving it. You read Blacklands? You read it? Like, oh my God. Okay, what do you like about her? I like that she's lost everything but she doesn't let that drag her down. He, this is like the equivalent of like, the guy who reads A Court of Thorn and Roses. He's like, I love, I love the girl and, and I like reading fantasy romance novels too. Like this writer had a vision. She was like, I want a man who reads fantasy romance just like me. And I think like to a certain point, they deserve that. I think that like, hey, listen, finding that in real life is probably very hard to come by. I'm sure you can find it, but who's to say that the people, the men that are claiming that they love these fantasy romance books 
aren't like actual crazy people because I don't know when men find out that women like certain things they're like oh my god let me let me take this let me use this to my advantage and be weird about it so that is very hard to come by in real life so why not write a character that is that like that is kind of queen even for a little while that is like a huge splinter i feel like you like could have gotten that out with your finger like it's humongous what you did the other day that was brave of you you're a bell brave what the okay. fuck is pause what am i did i watch a different scene because i feel like i watched a different scene they make it seem like she jumped into lava they make it seem like she jumped over a like a big vat of piping molten hot lava she did the task that everyone else had to do and i'm assuming that everyone else did it granted definitely like hard like i don't think i would be able to like slay like that at all but to a certain extent, if this is an athletic camp, surely that's not the most impressive thing. And I would be more offended that people thought my failed attempt was that impressive. Because it's like, what do you think of me? It almost makes me feel, I would, I would feel a little offended that you didn't expect more of me. The scene that we're referring to is a failed scene. She did not succeed. And for how mean he's been, he doesn't seem like the type that would be impressed by that. Is it just me? Or is Axel like way hotter when he's just like raging dang she has this book all the fucking time and she's like barely even in the book like she has not read any of it she's been carrying it around since the beginning of the movie and she's barely in it she's maybe at the third chapter like what you do not like this movie like you do not like this book you're barely reading it <sighs> Just relax, okay. Don't take off my shoe, pause. Don't take off my fucking shoe. Uh, if you do anything, don't take off my shoe. My first instinct would be like, it's stinky. <laughs> don't take off my shoe, it's stinky. And if her leg's cramping, why, why are you taking off my shoe? If my leg is cramping, why are you taking off my shoe? You're gonna give me a foot massage for my leg that's cramping? I just want to find problems with this movie because it. I don't want to continue on this scene because it's. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment and I know that's the point. And at the beginning of the movie, he was like, run, girl, run. Like, I don't care if you get injured. I don't care if anything happens. You better run. And now he's like, oh, she's got a cramp. Sit down, baby mama. Let me take off your shoe. Let me give it a good old rub. He's a freak. And oh, do we know his age yet? Please, can we get an age confirmation? You want to talk about it? I, I I really don't mind. Ew, her foot is like right. Pause. Her foot is right next to his head, and they have been jogging for like an undetermined amount of time. That thing is stank. That swamp feet. That is literally like the swampiest feet of them all. Regardless of whether you have smelly feet or not, like it's. It's moist. It's freaking wet in there. And he's like putting it on his shoulder, like right next to his head. He is in love with her. He actually is so in love with her because who would do that? I wouldn't even do that for someone that I loved. So, Willow, something going on there? Um, yeah, we, we went to school together. High school's over. And when did high school end for you? <laughs> when, when were you last in high school? Class of 20... 20? 22? Class of what? I like what you're doing out there. <laughs> Thanks. Three beers, one gin and tonic. Please. Okay, so that pause. So they're they're above drinking age. So the trainers are of legal age to drink. So how old are they? So how old are they? How old are they? Are we talking freshly 21? Are we talking 25? Are we talking? 35. How old is this motherfucking man? How old is this man now? How old is this man now? He also looks old. Why do he look so old? Oh, please. Are you okay? You have pretty eyes. Oh my god, are you okay? As she falls in an inflatable tub made to be thrown into 
Oh my god, are you okay? This man is getting on my last nerves. I love it though. Like as much like I cannot stress this enough. Like I'm making fun of it. Like love. Love. <laughs> like actually, I'm gagged. Like I actually love it. So as much as I'm making fun of this, trust if I there was a time where I probably would have watched this like in my bedroom at like midnight by myself and been like like there was a time when I was doing that and I I love that like I wish I could have watched this when I was like 15 or something like uh, that would have been everything to me I would have been gagged over this Ugh, Brad he wanted me to give this to you I don't need to explain myself to you oh, no. <laughs> Pause up. <laughs> Literally, like, so upset immediately. I don't need to explain myself to you. Like, he, like, did not say anything. Like, if he wanted to, he could have just not given it to you. I, <laughs> I love that. Um, I don't need to explain myself to you. I don't know what you want from me. Like, I love the immediate defense of, like, um, I actually, like, don't need to explain anything to you about my dating life, Axel. I don't need to explain shit to you. He's like, I actually don't care. He's like, I actually did not say a single word. I said he wanted to give this to you. Oh, okay, okay. That's how it is? Yeah, that's yeah? how it is. Yeah? Okay, well then go easy on me because you like me. With me. Oh my God. She's actually so bold for that. I, I, I pause. I like was not expecting her to say that. Like, <laughs> I, like I was... I was expecting her to just be like, chill. I mean, <laughs> but I wasn't expecting her to say that like that. Like, oh, this movie's so good. <laughs> this movie's actually really good because I. It's like actually like it's not predictable. I, I'm, I'm not predicting everything that happens. Like it's actually really good. Never mind. I spoke too soon. I should have waited till the scene ended before I said I liked this movie because it just made it weird. These weird, like, lingering scenes make it weird. Like, they do have, like, some potential and then they're like, let's, like, drag it out, like, and make it funny. And it's not funny. It's, like, an awkward gap that doesn't need to be included. When things get hard, I imagine myself as her. But I can't do it if I'm not her. Ah, uh, okay. The next time that you want to be Irabelle, just don't. But like, who cares if you're imagining yourself as a character that gives you empowerment? Like at the end of the day, if that's how you have, what, if that's what you have to do to get you through doing something that's challenging, go for it. Like, what's the problem with that? Like, I don't see the issue. Like if imagining yourself as someone if, like if i want to imagine myself as katniss everdeen every single time i want to do something challenging and it let it, it it gives me the motivation to do it then what's the problem with that who cares doesn't really matter i mean you whitney you'd have to complete the personal training course but people do it in three to six months and knowing you three to six months for a summer gig fuck no what are you talking about three to six months for a summer job Absolutely not. You can get trained to be a lifeguard in a quicker amount of time for that. And that's saving people's lives. You want, you're telling me I have to train three to six months to tell someone to go run? Absolutely not. I think this might be the bravest thing she's ever done. Like out of all the like physical, like athletic challenges of the movie like this is the bravest because by yourself in the woods skinny dipping you're crazy girl no no uh, axel axel just thought i'd become one oh my god <laughs> no 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 please. oh my god i would actually i would be i would be like no no it's poison no don't come in here i'm naked it's poison no i would actually lose my mind i would actually be like no it's actually like so fucking cold in here you don't want to come in you do not want to come in right now it's poison if i was naked in the water and the guy that i had a crush on was like i'm coming in i would be like no 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 do not come any closer you cannot come any closer so I would make I would make it like so much weirder than it needs to be. I would be I would actually be the worst person to put in that scenario. I would make it in 
a thousand times worse than what it actually is. Wait, are you? <laughs> yeah. What do you? Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we both are. That, that was everything. No, that was everything. That was actually everything. Oh my God, you're naked? Now we both are. I love that. I think it must have fallen off. It's probably here somewhere. <sighs> It's like a needle in a fucking haystack. Oh my god, she's actually so brave. I hope she finds it. <laughs> skin to skin. Oh my god, skin to skin. Don't push off of me like you're not the one that just hugged me. Don't be fucking rude. Don't be fucking rude. Don't push me off as if you didn't just hug me. I'm embarrassed even thinking about it. I, I didn't mean when I said I just was scared shitless. Fear's got a way of bringing out the worst in people. Pause. I like, <laughs> okay, thank you for pointing out the obvious. I don't like it that like that first interaction that they had together, he was so personally offended by it. Like it had nothing to do with you. Like it actually had nothing to do with you. Like, why are you so personally offended by it? And I don't like it that he's like, Yo, that's it. Like, actually, like, fear is actually, like, it actually is the worst thing. Like, it, your own insecurities bring out the worst in you. Like, it's awful. Like, really? Thank you. Thank you so much for your insight and wisdom. There's always more. Oh, my God. I'm being really mean. I have not been this mean about a movie in so long. Like, I am being a heinous hag of a bitch right now like i am in my hag nation era like i am being an old withered up hag yelling at this screen right now but like i love them but i hate them i don't i think i'm i think i'm a good leader hey don't do that don't do what what are you talking about she i agree with her i actually agree with her because not one point in this movie has she led a situation. <laughs> there has been nothing in this movie that has showcased to us, the viewer, which is, might I say, the most important right now, that she is capable of leading anyone. Like, every single compliment that she has gotten, she's like, no, and they're like, no, you're amazing. And it's like, no, she's right because she's not doing anything. She's participating in the activities just like anyone else is. Like, she's doing exactly what everyone else in the camp is doing. She got recruited to be a trainer, even though she's doing exactly what everyone else is doing. Why can't they also be trainers? All because, all because Willow's mom has a soft spot for her and likes her academic skills? I'm like, no, she's not a good leader and that's okay. Like, that is completely fine. I don't... I, I, I'll say this, I don't need her to be a great leader. I do not need her to be a great, you know, candidate for a trainee the next year. I don't need that from her. I need them to just stop saying it like it's something that we've seen. A lot of this movie is like saying stuff with like the assumption that we're just gonna like forget about the rest of the movie and that like we're gonna like think to ourselves like, oh yeah, I guess she was a good leader, reminiscing on it. No, she wasn't. She has not done any leading of anyone. She cannot take the compliment because it's simply not true. I hate to see you abuse that superpower. tension that they had in their eyes was really good. Oh my god. Oh my god, he pulled her up onto his lap. Oh my god, actually. <laughs> Wait, actually, <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm blushing, I'm blushing, okay, okay. I do agree that they have chemistry. Like, I'm not even gonna lie and say that they don't have chemistry. They definitely do. Like, a physical, and I think some of their banter is really good. Why? I just got out of a long-term relationship. <laughs> then why did you pull me up onto your lap like you wanted to like go to pound town okay so that's the line we're going with here it's not a line i promise <laughs> it's not a line it's not a Look, line what's going on with me has nothing to do with you 
pause, but it like does because you kissed me. If you never kissed me, then this wouldn't have affected anything. You knew I liked you. You knew I liked you. Everything that I've done throughout this movie has showcased to you that I do like you, right? And you hug me while I'm naked. Um, weird. Then you kiss me. Pull me up onto your lap like you want to like go bang it out real quick. And oh, I just got a long distance, a long relationship. And how the hell would we know that? That's the first reveal that they were in like a long term relationship. I didn't know that. Did anyone else? Did anyone else in the audience know that? Because I didn't. Like I would be pissed if I was her too. Like don't use that line on me. That's a really, ugh. That's a really convenient little line to say thanks. Thank you so much. Jealous. What are you talking about? Renata? You'd clearly rather be with someone who cheats on you. Who cares about Renata? Who cares about Renata? I know you think- What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm actually gonna lose my mind. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna lose my mind. Oh my god. Guys, I have not felt this way about a movie in so long. Like, bring back Wattpad movies. Like, bring back Wattpad movies. First of all, gagged by her monologue. Gagged. Gagarella. Love her. Love her. She's saying everything that I'm thinking. Love her, Whitney, queen. What do you mean, who cares about Renata? You just, you're the one that brought it up. You said I just got out of a long-term relationship. Is that supposed to be another one that we don't know about? What do you mean, who cares about Renata? You do. Your dad died, so you think that makes you more sensitive or something? But you're not. But. <laughs> okay, I was with her. I was with her until she said that about his dad. You just think because your dad died, you're more sensitive than the rest of us. I don't think he thinks that, but sure. Like, I think that saying because they, that line about his dad was so weird. Like, Whitney, I wouldn't have said that over you. But like, you know, like go off queen, she's hurt. I'll give her that, okay? That's actually so valid though. Like, it's actually so valid because like, why would you embarrass me like that? Why would you pull me into your lap, have a little makeout sesh, get me all, get me all excited that, that my crush is kissing me and then be like, no. Like, actually you deserve jail time because it's one thing if you like don't want to continue. It's another thing if you're like, oh my God, I know this girl has a major big fat crush on me and then I'm going to kiss her and then say, nah. You thought you, she was gonna come to your one-on-one -on -one training with you? You're stupid. You're actually stupid if you thought that she was actually gonna come. He went into town. I would give him a message for you. Can you just? Wait, what, what are you doing? Are you ready to go? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. You don't get to tell him anything. <laughs> sorry, I actually no. Do they even have each other's phone numbers? And where does this guy live? Is he is he from the same town? I would assume not. If it's a if it's a camp in a in a distant location. I know why you had to get away this summer. But I'm so happy you're here with me right now. There's no place I'd rather be. I really don't care. <laughs> I actually really don't care. I want Whitney and Axel to kiss again. That's what I want to see. I don't really care about the wedding. I would rather prefer to see how Axel somehow ends up in the picture again. That's what I would like to see. Someone once told me, the fear can bring out the worst in people. Fucking, how did he get invited to the fucking wedding? Like, the camp, her camp friends were like, oh my God, let's secretly invite him to her sister's wedding. Like, yes. Like, as if that's not like a planned event that you need to like orchestrate how many people are invited to. And by the way, he looks, his hair looks bad. Sorry. How sexy you were that night at the bar. And then again in the water. All of it makes me want you more. Just sorry it took me so long to say this. Right, this is like a year. She said earlier in the film that her sister was getting married next summer. So this is a year later. This is a freaking slow burn if I've ever seen one. They do have chemistry. They have really good chemistry. I'm not even gonna lie. I why would I lie about that? But the thing I have to ask, how old is he? Like, literally how old is he? <laughs> like, we never got a confirmation of how old this guy is. We just assume. Oh, it's Friday in the background. Sucks to be you. Why was he even invited to the wedding? Oh, cause their dads are best friends. But 
I would have been like, you're not invited. Like, I don't give a fuck. You're not invited. Like, I can't come. Oh, that was kind of a good movie. <laughs> I actually kind of like that movie. That brought out a joy in me that I have not felt in a really long time. I actually... Like, that movie kind of devoured. Bring back more Wattpad movies because, okay, I'm not even trying to be funny about that. I genuinely would watch that movie again because I thought the scenes were, like, cute. I think they had, like, good chemistry. Now, were some of the, like, there was a lot of flaws and there was a lot of parts that made me want to rip my hair out. But that's the glory and joy of these types of movies. Like, that is the pinnacle, like, perfect mix of things that you need for these types of movies is... At the end of the day, I will rewatch it and notice entirely new things that I don't like about it, but I will re we but I will rewatch it because it kind of ate. If I was 15, this I would have had nothing bad to say about this movie. I would have loved it. I would have actually loved it like with no complaints at all. I would have like watched it and been like asking my friends like, "Have you guys seen this like really like cool movie? It's called Boot Camp." Like, I don't know, it's like about this like camper that like falls in love with their camp counselor. Like I would have been all over it. And on an entirely different note of like me just enjoying the movie as it is, I also just loved filming this like video. I haven't done a commentary. Like I said, in the beginning of the uh, video, I haven't done a commentary uh, like this in a while where it is like true. Like this was like pinnacle of like commentary movie channels. Like this type of movie like literally gave people careers, me included. And it was just very, very fun to just have fun again and watch a movie that is like almost designed to be made fun of, but also like has this certain charm about it that makes you want to rewatch it again. Like I had a very fun time making this video. I hope you guys had a fun time watching it as well. Uh, there are a few more movies like this based off of like popular books or like Wattpad books or fan fiction books and stuff like that, that I have been saving and I haven't done them yet. But if you guys like this video, uh, please let me know. Cause I would love to continue doing these types of videos again, because this one was really fun and it brought out like a, a little spark within me again. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up uh but yeah i hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh comment down any other recommendations you guys have for me and i will see you in my next video